In this video, we'll take you through the steps you'll need to follow to upload content to a CapLink workspace. I'm logged in as Dan Demo, and I'm a user within the Project Big Company workspace. When I click into the workspace, I'll immediately land on the Overview tab. To begin uploading, I need to be in the Files tab. You'll notice in this view that we do have an Upload button that's currently grayed out. I do need to be inside of a folder before I can begin the upload process. Now the reasons for uploading content to CapLink can vary. I've listed a few of them on this document. One could be a capital raise or other investment that requires applications, signed documents, or qualifying records that need to be submitted. Another could be files pertaining to an asset sale of an entire business or a division of a large enterprise. These documents could have been requested by your investment banker or an advisor, and CapLink provides that secure encrypted conduit to transfer large volumes of data. Now there's two options as well for uploading content, and that's why I show two folders here. One is a bulk upload of all folders and files into one master folder. At that point, the person receiving them may distribute them to other folders within the workspace. The second option may be placing specific documents into specific folders. And again, I'll go through that in Upload Folder 2. So to go through the first example, let's click into the Upload Folder 1. We see that it's empty. I'll pull in a File Explorer. We can see that we've got two separate types of folders here. The first one is uh, Files by Folders. The second top one, pardon me, is a bulk upload example. So if I click into this, we'll see we have a large collection of sample files and folders. Let me pull this off the screen momentarily, and I'll click the green upload button. Now, I can simply take all of these folders and files. On a PC, I've grabbed the top, highlighted the top one, I'll held the shift key, and selected the entire list. I can drag those and release them and begin the upload process. The upload's complete. You'll see that some of these are grayed out. They are going through processing, which means optical character recognition or OCR is being done on those so that they can be searched in future by the content of the document, not just by file names. Now let me go back out to my All Files view and show you the other option. I'll click into Upload Folder 2. In this case, we have a long list of subfolders available to us. Perhaps the person we're working with has requested that we upload into specific folders. So if I come back out and I click into my Files by Folder example, I'll see that I have the exact same list of folders here. So if I click into my Capital Stock Files, again, we'll see that it's empty and we now have the green upload button available to us. If I pull in my File Explorer and click into my Capital Stock Files, again, I just have a few documents in here for demonstration purposes, but I'll be able to upload these items here. So I'll click the green Upload button. I will select these four items. I'll drag those and release them. That upload's complete. Let me go back out to the All Files view. Upload Folder 2. I'll click into Corporate Records. And again, pulling up my File Explorer. I'll click into Corporate Records where I already have my documents sorted and available. Click the Upload button. And now I'll select these items and do the same. That upload's also complete. Click back out to the Upload Folder 2. So I would carry on through this process if this is the way that the request has come in to upload the content until it was done. At that point, I could certainly notify my contact and let them know I've uploaded all the content, although they will receive an automated notice advising them of the same. So that's the end-to-end -end process for uploading content into CapLinked.